Good morning, everybody. So, this is officially how my day starts. <clears throat> I got up. Um, I had my three little guys outside. My husband leaves and leaves them out. So when I get up, they spend a little bit of time outside. So I just got them fed and put the way. So now I have those three up resting in their room playing whatever. And then I have, this is Fiona in the background that you hear that she's demanding a biscuit. She sees I'm looking at my emails now and this is the perfect time for her to keep in and be demanding. What's up? Now she does this all the time. I'm on the phone, checking emails. She knows her biscuits are there and she feels like she needs needs a few. One won't satisfy her. She'll eat one, she'll come back for another. Huh? Now, Fiona's over seven, and she's still acting like Sophie, or demands of her what she wants. Let's see, did you eat your breakfast? Oh, she licked her bowl. Um, Fiona's favorite is uh, kibbles with cottage cheese and a splash of milk on it. She'll eat that all day, every day. Um, you give her something else she doesn't like, she won't eat it. But she does love her biscuits, and she th she sees I got up out of the chair, so she's like, oh, I must be getting one. I better be good. And she's got that little tail wagon. Yeah, she can have one. I try to give her the broken ones so it slows her down because she'll be back. One won't, this is what she, one won't do it. Frank just had his breakfast, so he's chilling in his chair. Yep. Hi, Bubba. Yeah. He's chilling. So he's chilling. Fiona's happy she got her biscuit. All is well for now. Give her five minutes. She'll be back up wanting another one. Hi, buddy boy. This is Frank, our big boy tank. Um, his birthday's coming up in December. He will be seven. Hi, Baba. So he's an old boy. He's a good old boy. What are you shaking your head so much for? So Fiona's enjoying her biscuit, eating as fast as she can, so she can demand me to get her another one. <clears throat> I still have other puppies that have to come out of bed and go potty and have breakfast. Oh, she's even eating the crumbs on the floor. Now she's up to 150 pounds, so I try to cut back her dog food because can't cut back her biscuits that's her favorite you only live once so but she doesn't seem to mind um, sometimes she doesn't even eat all her breakfast something she doesn't like she won't eat at all Frank what are you doing checking out if the girls left something so this is Frank's ritual too today I'll bring in the uh, bag I already have started because she started tearing up her bed yesterday and I said well I'll just let her just let them have it until they decide it's done and then I'll I'm not gonna fix it again I'm gonna throw it away but these two room together Farley you're a big boy for that bed now Farley's 155 pounds last time I checked as you can hear Magnolia she's in her room barking but um, Carly's great with Ebby. Ebby's a little bit of a handful with uh, other dogs. Normally, if she's outside and someone walks by, she's the type that has a tendency to turn and bite the dog next to her. So she tries to do that to Farley, and he puts her back in her place. Um, so yeah, when they're outside today, I'll be coming in and... Oh, he loves toys too. Farley's a big toy guy. So they'll be, they do eat their, ouch, just stuck on my toe. They do eat their breakfast up here too, so I just take their dishes down. Uh, while they're out going potty, I get their breakfast ready. They come up and clean their room, fill their water, wash their floor, whatever they need. I do a lot of shop vacing. So I have this <laughs> heavy duty shop vac that works great. Um, these guys are never normally uh, locked in their kennels. They don't, they just use it for their bed mostly. Um, when they were younger, they needed it, but I mean, they chew up their own bedding, but they don't really, they don't do a lot of damage. So, no more than normal, than a normal dog, huh? Huh, Ebby? Yeah. So, Ebby's a good old girl. She's our only blue. <laughs> huh, pretty girl. 
And Farley's from uh, Fiona and Frank, so he's from our line. He's uh, one of my sweet boys, oh, baby boy. And so they know when they come down, first thing is potty break. Hi, handsome. He's so sweet. Farley, you're so handsome. So it's out our sunroom door, well, our back door goes through these sunroom area. <laughs> oh, she's singing. Mommy, come with us. So they come out peeing already, and then every day I have to come out and pooper scoop. I do it a minimum of once a day. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's more like, as you can see, the little guys dug holes, and they've been busy digging. So that's an everyday occurrence. <clears throat> and um, I still have to let all the birds out, too. So I usually let somebody stay out here while I do the rounds with the birds. These two always go together. We've had a lot of... <clears throat> um, a lot of traffic on our road with um, logging, so gives Ebby somebody to bark at. She really loves it. Look at her. Now, Ebby's the one that I wouldn't, um, I would definitely trust my life with. She would guard my life to the end. She's the smallest, but she's the fiercest one we have. Um, Ellie's the same way. She's, uh, Ellie's taller, but she's very lean too. And uh, Ellie's one you wouldn't want to just come in unannounced because she would do her job. Now the boys, on the other hand, they'd let you steal whatever you want. So when you have nine dogs, that means doing a lot of hand washing of their dishes. Um, I mean, I could put them in the dishwasher, but I just wash all their dishes out by hand. Um, so I feed them in different groups. So I have like a group of four. <clears throat> which are all the older dogs. And then I have a group of two, which is Farley and Ebby that you saw out in the yard now that they eat together. And then my three little guys eat together too. So I kind of do it in groups. I never get, uh, I've never had to get nine <laughs> meals ready at once. I'll do four meals, two meals, three meals. So <clears throat> between every meal, we wash out their dishes with, whole, you know, obviously soap and hot water to get them clean for them. That just helps with, you know, keeping their dishes clean. <clears throat> um, helps, nobody wants to eat out of a dirty dish. Do different meals. Fiona's favorite is obviously the cottage cheese. Uh, Frank will eat anything, like he's good with canned dog food. We do a lot of canned dog food. They don't just eat kibbles. I wish they did. Um, maybe that's why I have all the heifers. But they get, um, canned dog food. They love glazed peanut butter. That's Eva's favorite. Um, but it looks like Farley and Abby are going to, we're going to be doing the cottage cheese. So I do cottage cheese with a splash of milk. Cheese is good for everybody. So they love it. But, um, sometimes I will cook up a, a chicken or chicken legs and they'll have chicken. I'll make chicken rice. So they definitely have a good variety of food. Um, they would never just eat their plain dog food, never. They would, well, maybe Frank would, that's about it. Even the little guys would dump it. So this is uh, Farley and Ebby's. Ebby loves bread. So whenever I get a chance, I'll put a little bread in there for her. She'd rather eat bread than anything else, just like uh, Fiona would rather eat biscuits than her dog food. Farley! Come on, Ebby! There she is. You ready for breakfast? You ready for breakfast, Bubba? 10 million bags of dog food. She's sniffing out, see what she has. Eva, that's Eva's group. So it's Eva, and then we have the wood stove going, so it's nice and warm in here today, so we're trying to blow the air around the house. But Eva's seeing what they had for breakfast. So Eva and Ellie, they have these areas that they can sit in if they want to. Sometimes I find Fiona sitting in them. But they're both seeing what they each other had for breakfast. They both had the same thing. <clears throat> Eva had... <clears throat> uh, so Eva, because she's pregnant, she has a couple cups of regular dog food and a couple cups of puppy food. And then they had canned dog food. Now she's hungry because she ate some most of it, but it's not her favorite. So she's circling to see what Ellie had. And Ellie just had... Uh, canned dog food and kibbles and Ellie doesn't really like that so she just left it. She's not going to eat it. She's got your standards, huh, Elle? 
uh, <clears throat> but Frank sometimes will go back in there and finish off. So now these girls will just kind of lounge around um, and rest. They've all have been eaten. They've all had breakfast. Fiona's tired. <laughs> Ellie's busy being playful. Frank's taking a nap in the other room. So everybody's good to go. Uh, now I'll head outside and get all my birds fed and tended to. A oh, pretty girl. After you barked at Abby. Hey, Ever. So this is a pregnant girl. Yep. Oh, thanks for the smooch. Thanks for the kiss. Yep. I don't have anything. <laughs> She's like up close and personal. She doesn't care. Most Danes are like that. Okay, you give me smooch. Give me smooches. Get out. I know I'm in your spot. She just wants to be on the couch. That's what it is. She's just sucking up, so I'll get out of her way so she can lounge with Fiona. I'm on to you. Uh, couch covers, too. I just um, use basically the flat king size sheets to go over the couches because I have to change these like every other day. Because this couch is mostly. Um, for the dogs we me and my husband sit in our chairs uh they heat recline and do all that so they're they're very comfortable but normally we have two couches because <clears throat> we have so many dogs and um they all like to be on the couch they don't want to be on the floor ellie's on the floor stretching it out right now but when it gets cold she wants to be on the couch too <laughs> oh eleanor yeah a silly girl but Fiona doesn't move from that spot she's always there so but I do have like some beds on the floor this is a working fireplace but we haven't got it going at all um, so they have this is the same bed that Abby tore up upstairs I bought a bunch of them and um, yeah, she tore hers up first day so that's part of um, big dogs too you pay more for these big beds because they're big and then uh your dog could chew it up chew it up the same day huh and you just try to find what works best so that's what we do ebby and farley seem to like those uh, uh woolen kind of blanket looking ones and eva's got a couple in her bed that she tore the top one but the bottom one's solid so i just leave it in there she does what she wants huh if she wants to go lay in there and do what she does, most of the time she's on the couch. She sleeps on the couch. Fiona sleeps upstairs with me and her dad. But Ellie and Eva sleep down here. So, and they're loose. So, um, that's our home security. We don't need ADT. We got these girls. Anybody comes in, they won't get past the front door. Because she looks sweet, doesn't she? But she's protective. Huh. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. She knows I'm talking about her.